This could actually be a decent beginning. Okay. I'm gonna buy all those, even though it's four weapons that I kind of just don't need. It could be worth it in the late game, potentially, depending on how, um, depending on how this build goes and the items that the game decides to give me. I'm not going to use this extra weapon, though. What I will do is get a health potion because it's on sale and get all three of those as well. That's what I will do. That's what I will do. Going against just pure poison. We should lose this. Stamina is crazy. Unless we just crit like we just did. Like one more time. One more crit. One more time. Oh, wow. I wasn't expecting to lose that. We got a lucky crit there, though. That helped us out a lot. Um, let's go ahead and get a torch there. And nah, I should have probably got the shield. Well, I could still get the shield, though. I don't have anywhere to put it. Unfort well, yeah. I don't have anywhere to put it, though. Yeah, we, we're going to need that space in order to utilize that shield. So... Let's just go whetstone and fanny pack instead. That way, next round, I can probably just go for spike shields. We got an increase in DPS as well, which is good. And that should be straight. We're going to have to get some bananas, though, for that stamina usage that we're using up. Wow. Was this second round? Second round hero sword is crazy. It's got a lot of DPS, especially with that, uh, that dagger. I say we lost there if it wasn't for that health potion. We'll take that, though. Wow. We'll take that, though. Okay. Fourth, eight, nine, ten. We've got to figure out how we can do this double combination. <laughs> um, crap. Well, I mean, I could do this, I guess. That works. Not really getting the benefit on the shield. I mean, not the shield, but the, the shovel. But it still works. It still works. It's still very, very much valid and it still works. So it's okay. Might lose this next round, but at least we um, we get a lot of combinations off, which is good for later down the line. And we definitely lose this one, I think. Very close. Okay. Whew. Lost, but still. I I'm satisfied with that. Ooh, got the gooby. Got the gooby. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. I might stop using Microsoft Edge. Here's the news homepage is tracking their users. I... I don't know. I feel like you're getting tracked regardless, bro. You probably have a thousand hours in the game. Probably more. I feel like you're getting tracked regardless of what you do in life. Like, everyone has their information, bro. It's just a matter of who's, like, not selling it, I guess. But everyone has your information. As soon as you was born, your information was out there in the world. Out of your control at that point. Um... Not looking like I'm going to be able to utilize the spike shield here, unfortunately. So I say we just get a banana for the sake of getting a banana. And we'll probably just roll with this. I think that'll be straight. I think that'll be good. Going against Shovel Reaper with a wooden buckler. Good thing we got the banana. That'll help us out with our stamina usage, even though we're still having a lot of our stamina being used. Health potion just procced. It's got a lot of poison. We're missing a lot. I say we lose this. Yeah. It's okay, though. It's okay. Because now we get to steal Goobert, right? Boom. Let's get that stamina sack. Um, and then we also got that backup weapon, which is great. Getting the leather armor here would be nice. So I could sell both of those to get it, but I don't have space, so... I don't have space for anything. We need to roll for space here. Anything. Oh. I did roll for a blueberry. And a hungry blade. So we might be okay. Uh, yeah. Could put you down there, actually. Buy this so we can actually use a spike shield. Mm, move the spike shield on the other side of the goobert as well for the other activations. And you could go there. All right, that's good. That's good, that's good, that's good. Going against a Reaper, double shovel. Double shovel, double whetstone. A little bit of speed, a little bit of regeneration, a little bit of a health potion. A little bit of scary, you're scary, Reaper. You are scary. Do I win, though, with my Steel Goober giving me that, uh, giving me that defense early in the game like this? I think so. I think so. Thank you. I will take that. 
Boom. Um, ooh, a ruby egg. Ruby egg might not be bad. Unironically, ruby egg might not be bad this early. I think we get that. Ma just told me that and I was trying to say that to her. Oh, yeah. You're getting track regardless. As soon as you was born, as soon as you got a job, as soon as you got a driver's light, like, there's no way to not be tracked in this world unless you were literally born in the woods without going to a hot, like, you just born, you're Tarzan. Now the world doesn't know you exist, right? <laughs> It's inevitable, bro. As sad as it is, it's just, it's inevitable and it's way bigger than what we all think it is. It's no use in pondering all of that, in my opinion. But yeah. Um, what do we buy and when do we buy it is the question. We could sell the shovel and get the hungry blade. We have three lives though, so I say we keep the shovel around just to get the extra economy that it gives. I'm not that pushed to not do the ladder um we definitely need to combine here combine i said that very weird combine we need to combine here i would love to get a ruby egg i mean i could i could set the spike shows down to get the ruby egg to see to get ruby chunk asap might not be that bad of a play honestly i say that's what we do i think that's a better play i yeah we're gonna need but we're gonna need everything here um, yeah, we're gonna need everything there. As much as I would love to get new items, we're gonna need everything there. Um, going against a hammer with a lot, that's a lot of stamina generation. That's a lot of stamina generation. Hammer by itself, bro, with no daggers. Uh, give us a little bit of a chance, but hammer by itself with, with a lot of bananas is very dangerous. Very dangerous. I don't think we survive this one. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, we got him down to three health though, so there's that. But now we have the magic torch. We don't really have any form of... I'm so glad we had a protective first there. But we don't have a form of um, mana generation. So utilizing that magic torch probably is not going to happen. Unfortunately. Which is okay though. It's okay though. Do all of that. Should I get a second leather armor? I'm just thinking about double vampiric armor. That's what I'm thinking about right now. Double vampiric armor is what I'm thinking about right now, but I, I don't think I'd get it. It's gonna be too much space. It's gonna be too much space. Um, We could honestly utilize this banana. It's a second form of activation for the still goobert. What we could also do is maybe just move this up there for the damage increase, since that's going to be our only form of DPS scaling. I say that's a good idea. Okay, going to get some ribshot with a shovel. Okay, we probably lose this. More than likely. It's too late, yeah. <laughs> the crits, the crits, bro, the crits. They're crazy. All right, it's okay, though. It's okay, though. We got a ruby chomp, which is great. We can get the, the leaf. We're going mana build. Oh, baby, we're going mana build all the way. Sell the shovel. It's time to sell the shovel. Boom, boom. Definitely going mana build. Um, I thought this was a three second cool. This is a 2.2 cooldown. I thought it was a three second. So let's go this, this. A ruby chunk can go right up there. As soon as I figure out a way to put it up there. This will work. Oh, wait, no. That'll work. So now it's getting double increased in DPS. One from the Steel Goober or two damage increase from the Steel Goober and a one damage increase from the Magic Torch, which is great. I can turn that into a Mana Thirst. That'll directly feed the Magic Torch. And then I can utilize this guy for that initial mana gain that we're going to need. Or, yeah, yeah, initial, yeah. Um... That can go there, I guess. I feel like the Ruby Chunk is probably going to be our main source of DPS, considering it's getting that in double increase in um, DPS per. Right. Will we need a second Hungry Blade? I don't think so. I say we stick with this and we just get passive build helpiness. <laughs> passive 
passive build helpiness, as I'm calling it now. Um, going against Honduras, Horus, or whatever. Magic Taurus, Claws of Attack. That's a big pineapple. Claws of Attack is going to be going crazy because of it. He's also got that mana generation. Pretty solid build he's got going on here. Um, but we also have a pretty solid build we got going on. Ruby Chun's doing 13 to 18 per. So, that's going to be a lot of damage. 17 to 22, it just keeps climbing. And his is 11 to 13, whatever, uh, whatever that other one is. But still, not enough, obviously, to take us out, which is great. Now we got ourselves the Mana Thirst. Let's get that. Um, We still haven't been able to use this leather armor. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted. Um, I could use you. I, well, yeah, yeah, sell you. I could put you there. Honestly, I, well, it's probably not going to be, well. Whoa, let me not do that. This is what I was thinking about doing. That is an option. I mean, our mana st uh, stamina usage isn't high. Anyways. So, realistically, we don't really need need the banana. I would love to use use the banana, but we don't need need the banana. But this is great. All right, now we just need to turn that into the moon shoe, turn that into the vampiric armor. And then the rest is history after that, I think. But we are going against a Bloodthorn. However, he doesn't really have any mana or regenerate. He doesn't have regeneration, so he's only relying on the buffs of spikes, which is just a pineapple plus double spike shields. Stamina is going to be hurting a lot because of the spike shields. Um, but we're also hurting his stamina because of Shield of Aelor. And we removed more stamina. It's a 0.7 stamina. This is a 0.3. So that's a 0.6 combined. So, yeah. <laughs> we'll take that. Thank you. Um... Don't really want anything there. I will take the potion belt for space. Honestly, getting a box of riches here might not be a horrible idea, realistically. So I say we take the box of riches as well. Roll. Uh, don't really need a double ruby chunk. Yeah, I don't really need a double ruby chunk. Um, we don't really sickly need the stones either so i can sell these for just rolls here might be able to get lucky all right this one wasn't bad though that looks like a cap of resilience that looks like increased healing from the mana thirst um and this just looks like fast fast things so <laughs> not bad honestly not bad i wish i had a spot to put the um well, actually, no, I do have a spot to put the banana. I can just put you up here and banana right, right, right here. That works. And you still get the buff from that. Wow. Hell yeah. Going against a thorn whip plus the, the piercing, man. That's a combination that keeps popping up. This guy killed me last time or this build killed me last time. Um, what a critical. Interesting. He chose critical instead of the poison. Very interesting. Let's see how it does, though. Seems like it's doing damn good. Just did 25 damage to me. Just did 46 damage to me. Holy Jesus. All right. But we're sticking in there, which is great. We're sticking in there. Oh, yeah. We'll take that. Yes, sir. And one more. One more. Ah, there we go. Thank you, sir. Um, so. Let's just get these three. I could have gotten that upgraded armor. But I, I, I rather have the leather armor. Leather armor plus moon shield is a better combination versus the uh, whatever that new armor is. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, we're gonna need that. We're gonna need it. We're gonna need it. Um, let's put this on the ruby well. I gotta check that damage. The damage numbers. I'm pretty sure the ruby up is our main form of DPS. Pretty sure, but I still want to check the damage numbers just in case. All right, this is looking good, though. This is looking good. I do want the perfect sapphire. We need that perfect sapphire. Oh, interesting. You went for dark saber. What debuffs are you putting on me for you to want to use the dark saber? I don't know. Maybe he's just relying on that mana. He did get a really well, decently fast blueberry. So maybe he's relying on that mana to put the blind for the debuff. But in my opinion, I don't think he should have probably went Darksaber here, in my opinion. Um, but either way, 
I'm pretty sure we're going to win this. He's already popped his potions. We're looking pretty damn good right now. So, yeah, we'll take this W, sir. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Now we got the cap of discomfort. Let's get that chip ruby. I don't want to spend too much money here. Because I do want to get the perfect sapphire, which we're getting 14 next round. So we can honestly buy both of those. And then was that 19? So yeah, we'll be able to buy the, the perfect sapphire next round. Um, and we could just double up on Ruby Well. Uh, I meant to check the damage numbers. I forgot about that. But yeah, that should be straight. All right, now we can check the damage numbers. Going against a Ripshaw Blade with a Hungry Blade combination. Okay. Which is okay. Which is decent. The removal of buffs is pretty nasty, though. And the decrease in healing is pretty nasty, I'll be honest. But I, I feel like we out-DPS him. We Our DPS scaling is infinite. His He has no DPS scaling. And he's got a lot of stamina uses being used, right? Which is pretty evident, considering his Ripshot wasn't going to be able to activate. Um, I say we win. Yeah. I say that's a W. Thank you, sir. Take that. Um, let's go ahead and buy you. Could buy the pig. We have space. Why not? Roll. I don't want anything here. We're going to put that on the... I meant to check the freaking damage numbers. But yeah, we're going to put that on a ruby. Well, um, honestly, let's do this. Combine both of those. I want to see how fast that ruby whelp is. Considering it's uh, double fanny packed up right now. Oh, an OG bow and arrow build. He doesn't have the steel goobert on him, but it's still an OG build nevertheless. Double Fortuna's Grace. I wonder how that's... Uh, it's probably not going to do him well, though, honestly, because they increased the stamina uses that the bows use and plus Shield of Valor. His stamina use isn't bad, though, unless... Uh, oh, there we go. There's one. Oh, he also had the crown. Invulnerable now. Give me that out of stamina. Damn, not out of stamina? Okay. All right. Oh, my God. I didn't even see the bananas until now. I'm blind. Double ban quad banana, though. Holy crap. This is close. Woo! That was a close one. I give him that. That was a close one. I will give him that. And then he's getting the um the glowing... What do you call that spear? I don't know what you call I forgot what you call that spear. But he's getting that. Interesting build. Let's put you on that for the extra generation of mana. We don't we don't really need need it. Let's get this as on sale. Let's roll. Don't want anything here. Give me something good, game. Didn't give me anything good. Um Roll. Still nothing good. Another P bank though. It's on sale. I feel like I should I I'm gonna get it just because it's on literally just because it's on sale. And honestly, I'm gonna pick up the box of riches. There, that's what I was really looking for. And another mana orb. So I can get the moon, uh, the moon shield. That's what I need right now. But we did. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's a dark saber plus a Belladonna's Whisper plus a Thorn Whip plus one, two, three, four stamina potions. We lost. He's going to be able to deal with enough DPS throughout this entire battle. Throughout this entire battle. Unless, I mean, no, there's no way. The DPS is just going to keep scaling because he's going to keep on putting poison on us because of the thorn rope increase. Yep. 46 critical. Close. Well, we almost we almost had him. We almost had him. Very close. Very close. Okay. By you. This, this, is, this is a crucial round here. A very crucial round. By you. I need that. Yeah. Sell you. Buy you. Put you there. For the moon shield. You can go there for the vampiric armor. If we survive next round, it's going to be a party. An absolute party. Sell you. I'd rather have you there, honestly. Um, You can honestly just go down here for the combination. We'll put you there for the increased in healing. And we realistically don't really need this lucky clover, honestly. So we'll sell you for that. Combine you as well. So we got... A lot of combinations going on right now. A lot of combinations going on right now. Honestly, I could just sell you. 
and put you up here. That way that that jewel is inside of something for even more healing as Amplify. The healing matters a lot right now because we're getting healing from the leaf every five mana we use. We heal, right? Mana thirst. Um, 20 mana gained. We heal. Um, and then we just got vampirism. So that increases the healing there as well. Um, the, the goal is to get enough mana in order to utilize the mana orb and the mana thirst. That's what our build is lacking right now. It's just that mana utilization. Oh. What's the point of combining if I could just buy that? The faster the better. Especially when our stamina usage is so low. Um, I say we don't combine. I'd, I'd rather keep those separate if the plan is literally just to buy that in the late game. I think that's good. I think that's good. Okay, go against something. Uh, interesting. Um. Okay, hopefully our mana generation is going to be really damn good here because that's what we realistically need right now. We need good mana generation. We got the mana orb. We got the ruby well. We got the mana thirst. We got to get up to that 30. The faster we get up to that 30 threshold, the better. I don't think we're going to be able to get up there fast enough. Honestly. However, this battle seems to be going in our favor for the most part. So we should be able to win this. Unless his spikes just increases to disgusting amounts and just starts doing 100 damage. But it doesn't seem like it. So yeah. Woo. All right, we'll take that. We'll take that W. Yes, sir. Give me that combination. Mmm. Shit was juicy. Let's buy you. That's all of my money. And we could just put you guys back. Let's not combine any of you. Um, I do want that. Honestly, now that I think about it, I could put this on the, the vampiric armor to make the vampiric armor faster. Is that how that works? I don't think that's how that works now that I think about it. <laughs> That's not how that works because it's on armor. If it was on a weapon socket, it'll be faster. I wish that's how that worked. You can make the vampiric armor faster if you put the false toe passes in there. I'm pretty sure that's not how it works, though. It'd be nice, though. I'll keep those on the outside, I guess. And both of these can just go in there. For the uh, opponent healing is reduced. All right, this, this is looking good, though. This is looking good. Roll... Do I need the ruby sapphire? I mean, I could just get it to replace this sapphire. Or even for the uh, the gaining of armor, potentially. Never mind, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I thought about it for a little bit and I was like, ah, I could, but I, I just don't want to. Oh, going against a hammer build. Okay, a freaking hammer build, a poison hammer build at that, with the protection of debuffs. Pretty dangerous stuff right now. This is some pretty dangerous shit. But our mana generation is way better now. Mana generation is way better, so we can actually utilize that mana thirst second ability. But it doesn't look like oh, our stamina usage. Double shield, not good. Not good. Can our DPS scale enough? No, I don't think so. We lose this. Yeah, we lose this. Our DPS isn't going to be able to scale enough because his poison is scaling. Our DPS is on. Our only scaling DPS. Is, uh, I mean, we got double, but still. It's not going to be enough. Not with that. Sh oh, my God. Yeah. That stamina usage is crazy. Crazy stamina usage right there. Um... All right, this is going to be the round that we have to make some changes. Some very drastic changes. We need a mana orb. We need the hard pull for a mana orb here or else we lose. This could be nice, maybe. Oh, I'm going to get it. Okay. We could also get the bird. Or maybe even a glowing crown. Just sell both of those. bird here could be nice 
Maybe. A glowing crown. Usually I don't like rocking glowing crowns, but I feel like that's our only option because I really don't want to reroll again. I'm going to get the glowing crown. It's on sale. Fuck. I was really hoping for a mana, uh, a mana orb right here. I was really hoping for one. We need one so badly right now. Yeah, we need one so badly. Um, I'm gonna do it. Ah, oh, okay. I regret. I regret all my decisions. <laughs> I regret them all. I regret all my decisions. Um. All right, I'm gonna buy this. We're making everything so much faster right now. Making everything so much faster. All right, banana. I'm gonna need you to do some magic, okay? You're you're inside two fanny packs. You're thirty percent faster. I'm gonna need you to put in some work, cause that's what I need you to do. Honestly, I might even just do that, cause that's the only way to make the banana even faster, is by putting down the outside, and potentially just doing that for the twenty percent to remove a random buff. Cause I don't want my weapons to be faster, because it's just gonna say out of stamina. I need to have a nice middle ground where i can generate enough stamina for my weapons to go as fast as they want but right now we're just using too much stamina especially since people are using shields like crazy including myself so the faster that banana is the better in my opinion since we kind of couldn't run into another banana fortunately but we do have a lot of rubies to make it fast we got a lot of those which is good um, I, I'm gonna rock. I'm a, well, wait, <sighs> wait. I mean, I could take one of these for the life steal. I could do that. I say we do that. I'll put that up there. Okay. What are we going against? Okay. Mmm, that healing reduce on that shield is nasty. He's also got health potions, critical. He's got increase in DPS because of the magic staff. He's got double glowing crown. Second one's probably about to proc right about now. Okay. Our stamina usage is doing pretty damn nice though. He's only got one shield. So I kind of do regret putting that on the outside. However, our heat's getting up there. So we're 14% faster right now. As long as our heat keeps scaling and our DPS keeps scaling and we keep being happy, I say we win. I say we win. Even though he's doing 42 damage to us, we still got that shield on us, though. He does, too, but that Ruby Chunk is doing massive damage to his health. I say we win this. I say we win this. Whew. All right. That was a really good win. We need a Mana Orb. Oh, my God. I really want to get this. I'm getting it. We need a Mana Orb, though. Oh my god, game! Give me a mana orb! Why? What did I ever do to you? What did I ever do to the game to not deserve a mana orb right now? I'm thinking if I could combine this. I could put this here and put the, uh, and move the the mana thirst down. But I, well, I will have to buy this as well. And that's nine. I could sell you. I could sell this as well. At least that helps like a little bit. Making this faster, that activates faster. Making this faster, more mana. But I need, I, I really need a mana, to, uh, a mana orb. But at least everything's a lot faster because of all these jewels. Getting a bird on those jewels will be even better. I don't like the way this build looks. I've never seen something like this before, but that's the scary. That's how, that's how the scary builds are. It's just something you've never seen before, you know? Um... 
Oh no, that's a lot of blind. We also don't generate clovers. We're relying on the leaf in order to cleanse that blind that the light Gubert's giving us, I think. Cleanse two debuffs. Yeah, but... I mean, so far so good though. Even though he's got, he's got the lightsaber critting, he's not able to generate that much um, debuffs on us. The, 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 the six blind, which is good. Okay, so we should win this. Okay, 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 okay. All right, all right. Oh, that was the last game? What? I wasn't, I didn't, I wasn't even paying attention to that. I didn't even know it was the last game. I'll take that W though. Hell yeah.